what you're looking at right now is the Insight 360 portal. Um, once I log in, this is the home screen I get. If you look along the left, you have a bunch of different things you can select from. Um, for the sake of this exercise, what we're interested in is remote software update. If I select the drop down, I'll see I have a few more selections here. What we want is device version assignment. So once I select that, I'm going to be um, brought to this screen right here. Um, and essentially what you'll see is this is a list of all the different sites that I have access to based on my login credentials. Um, you see a lot of different information about the sites, their address, their city and whatnot. You'll also see the brand and the currently installed version. Um, as you look to the right, you'll see there's another column that says current status. Um, in some cases, you'll see nothing. In some cases, you'll see update completed. In some cases, you'll see update available. Um, you can also see update in progress. Um, for the sake of this, essentially, if you see nothing in the current status, that means there is no software update available. If you see update complete, that means you would just likely recently completed a software update uh, via this uh, remote software update feature. If you see update available, that means based on your brand and the version you currently have installed, there is an approved update for your site. So what I'm gonna do is for my test site that I threw together here, um, GVR ID 293895, I'm gonna go ahead and take you through the process of sending a software update to that site. So what I'm most interested here is I'm just gonna click on detail update. So when I select on that, I, I, again, there's a bunch of different information about the site, but what we're really interested in is this right here. So what I am going to do, I am currently, if you look over here, I'm currently on the Passport version 20.04b, essentially. And if I look over here, I can see that 20.04c is available. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, instead of selecting no update, I'm going to go ahead and select latest overall version. All right, when I select that, I can come down here and I can either enter a date time for when it is sent down to the site, or I can click on immediate send. So for the sake of this, I'm going to click on immediate send. And so now when I want to actually send the update down to the site, I am just going to click save. So now that I've done that, if you look here, you're going to see that I have the package download is in progress. Um, I can refresh, and if I refresh, I can start seeing um, some updates here. Now it's saying software update is in progress. So now, in a moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to record, I'm going to um, show you what it looks like from the Passport side. So I have recently sent um, a software update from Insight 360 to Passport. So now, if you have a cashier logged in um, to your Passport system, they'll get a pop-up message informing them that an update's available and that, that it'll be installed immediately following the next store close. Um, it's something important to uh, remember that when you're using Insight 360 and you send a software download package um, to, your path, to your site, it doesn't mean that it's going to start installing immediately. It is still going to require cashier interaction. Um, that's by design because we just want to make sure that, you know, if somebody, we, we don't want somebody sending an update from Insight 360 and have the potential for the store to be unaware that it's coming and all of a sudden you've got a store, you've got lines of customers and all of a sudden, um, you know, your software is interrupted for an installation. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is as I'm here at the pause, uh, I'm just going to clear all alerts. Um, I was in the middle of a transaction, so I'll just go ahead and finish that tra transaction up. 
Okay, so now what I could do is I could wait till the next store close and just go along with business as usual. And then when the store close occurred, I would be prompted to go ahead and, um, if I wanted to go ahead with the installation. Um, and I, I think I'm, I would be allowed a maximum of three deferrals, meaning three times I could say, no, I, I don't want to do the installation. And then it would wait till the next store close. Um, for the sake of demonstrating this a little quicker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of um, this. I'm going to go to Tools, and I'm going to go into my Manager Workstation. And specifically what I'm going to go into is Software Upgrade Manager. And I can see that I have a software update available. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to install the software. So now at this point, the installation is just going to go along just like it typically would in a normal Passport installation. Really, the only difference here is that the installation has been started from Insight 360 and it didn't require anyone to physically come to the site or use a USB thumb drive or disk or any of that. Um, so right now, at least as far as the store is concerned, all of this looks exactly as it does today. So I have gone ahead and launched the installation at the Passport site now, um, the one that was initiated from Insight 360. And if from the portal I would just like to see some progress on my uh, installation, I just have to enter the store number here and just click search. And as you can see, I've, I've already done that. And right now, my software update is in progress up to 27%. Um, you'll see this throughout the course of the entire upgrade. Um, and once the installation is done, I'll be back to show you what it looks like at that point. So here we are. We're back at the Passport site now. And um, as you can see, the um, software update completed fine. Um, the system's been updated to 20.04c. Um, again, from the Passport side, this whole process really doesn't look any different than it typically would if you were using this, the old method of USB stick or, um, you know, uh, a disk. Um, but there has been some communication back and forth um, with i360. So now i360 is aware of the fact that the installation has completed. So I'm back over here in um, the Insight 360 portal. Um, I had um, entered my store number and click search and previously I was able to see that the um, the uh, update was installation was in progress. Um, I had done a search and for a brief period of time it had set up there that the update was complete. Um, un unfortunately I click search again and all of a sudden unfortunately the uh, update complete um, is gone. Um, but you will note that now the site is no longer sitting at 20.04b. It has been, the installed version has been updated to 20.04c. Um, so the site has been updated successfully.